there is so much data in the world now, so much. I mean, Eric Schmidt has said that every two days now we create as much data, as much information as we did from the dawn of man up until the year 2003. That's every two days now. So there's a huge amount of data out there. But is that a good thing? Uh, what do we do with it? Can we actually, as engineers and scientists, um, control all of that data? Can we make good use of it? Um, and so that sort of goes on to, to some of the work that, that I'm involved with now, one of the um, uh, ground-based radio astronomy projects called ALMA. And it's 66 dishes, uh, sort of, they look like satellite dishes, um, and they are picking up things literally from, from the dawn of civilization, um, and then looking at where the universe is going. Uh, in the future as well. The Square Kilometre Array is um, a radio astronomy project designed to uh, look back at the dawn of time uh, so uh, and then in what's going to happen in the future as well. The sheer size of the SKA, it's a square kilometres worth of collecting area so it isn't actually a physical square kilometre. What will happen is that uh, there are many many dishes thousands and thousands of dishes and they'll be spread across thousands of kilometres but with the central core in Western Australia and in a remote area in South Africa as well. So the sheer size of this will make it 50 times more sensitive than any other radio instrument in the world. So it's going to be the most sensitive radio instrument ever. And in fact it will be so sensitive it would be able to detect an airport radar-like signal on a planet 10 light years away. That's how sensitive it's going to be. But again, the amount of data this thing's going to generate is enormous. It's estimated that just the dishes alone will generate more than 10 times the global internet traffic. The global internet traffic. Huge amounts of data. So can we as scientists and engineers deal with all this data? Should we be dealing with it? Should we get involved with citizen scientists, citizen data scientists to help us reduce this data like they did with the SETI program, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence um, a few decades ago as well. So we have to start thinking about how we can actually take this data um, and, and use it. And also to make sure that we, we bring the next generation with us when we're doing this to make sure that they're inspired enough to, to work on these big challenges in the future. Um, I think some, most of it is about this next generation and the, the projects I'm working on will outlive me. There are so many technological challenges that we will definitely not solve them um, all in my lifetime. So I want to make sure that part of my work now is ensuring that the next generation are inspired enough to carry on um, with these challenges and then um, develop new ideas, new challenges to solve in the future as well. So I think that's a big part of it, is to, to talk about the, the next generation, how we make sure we inspire them. And that's all of our jobs to do that.